I'm standing here with uh, Neil from New Hampshire, uh, and you got some incoming news from Keene. Yeah, late last night, tell, tell me what happened that you know of. Well, I'm here at the Ron Paul sine wave, and just about 15 minutes before I left to come here, I saw a report off of uh, Tally TV's YouTube channel where apparently there was a dance party in Keene last night in the center of Square. And this is a location where they've had uh, what they call nightcaps before, just little nighttime parties. Um, and of course there have been 420 rallies there. And uh, for the most part, uh, that part of town seems to be kind of like a hands-off area for police as long as there's no one harming anyone else. They've kind of learned to stay away just because the activists kind of make a stir about it. But last night, I guess they feel, uh, felt compelled to act on this uh, dance party, and I don't have uh, complete information about it, but I did see Derek J. Freeman, who is a uh, new co-host on Free Talk Live. He's also one of our hosts on Prometheus Unchained, another podcast out of Keene. Uh, he was handcuffed uh, on the ground uh, after having had something uh, taken from him by the cops um, under the <laughs> assumption that it might have been stolen. This is hey. this is coming with us. No, 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 yes. no, no it's not. No, you it's have not. no right no, to take that. Right? No, it is. It's Excuse me. On what ground? No, what guys? Ground? No, you're gonna get arrested too. Why? You are gonna get arrested too. Stop! 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 Hey! 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 Man, he's not doing no. fucking anything to you, man. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Is this the answer? Mark Bart! Use it! Use it! Mark Bart! Get back! Sir, let go of the bag! Get your fucking hands off of me! He's not fucking doing anything! It's my property! If you do what I'm doing, you have no right to take that! So you took the mouse's word and then put this man in the ground? That's correct. These guys don't even know who shit that is. What kind of example do you set? Putting people to the ground, trying to take their property. Apparently, the uh, cops sprayed him with mace. Just uh, sprayed his face with mace uh, for someone that was already in custody. And I'm not even sure what the arrest was for to begin with, but it was just very disturbing out of Keene. Whoa, shit! Are you fucking kidding me? Proud about your job? Love it, right? You guys love it? There you go. There you go. Tell, hey, tell, tell the family about this one today, right? All you guys? You guys must be proud. You guys must be proud, right? They, um, they would feel compelled to uh, use punishment as a uh, tactic after they already had someone securely and you know, under arrest. You know, this is one of those things where I'd like to give the KPD a call and record the conversation, get their side of the story, but the wiretapping law actually sort of discourages me from getting their side of the story because it put the oh, chilling really? effect on making those calls because you're obviously you're recording That's and you're on the phone, which is like two of the key elements <laughs> to you know meeting the wiretapping criteria. So I just don't get their side of the story. I just <laughs> they, uh -huh. they, it silences them essentially. The wiretapping law oh. does, unless I'm happen to be you know around them in person or something. That oh. I could ask, but uh, but that's that's, that, that's a, too bad that that's that that, that 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 this was. I mean, uh, what were you gonna say? Well, if they had a compelling side of the story, I would hope that they'd uh, you know have it out there for the media and independent media to uh, uh, to present it. But you know, I I, uh, I have a feeling they don't, and that uh, last night was something that the officers themselves uh, probably didn't go home and brag about. Uh, to their families, uh, what they did. Yeah. Uh, at least they shouldn't. Um, can you think of some kind of a, I mean, there's been a lot of stuff going on since 2009 in the Central Square in Keene. Some folks don't like it, the cops don't always like it. Um, and uh, can you think of a, some kind of a win win solution that would you know, benefit both sides and help the, the Central Square? 
Well, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great thing that we do have the media that allows us to get this information as rapidly as it does. I mean, I was watching video of it just um, uh, shortly, uh, 12, uh, 12 hours after it happened. I'm sure it was uploaded last night, too. Um, it's great that, you know, activists can have a win by being notified and being able to respond. But I think the real win as far as um, uh, the position that the police are in is just not to act in situations where uh, there are peaceful people, apparently this time, having a dance party and enjoying themselves. And uh, it's, a, it's a real losing situation uh, whenever they interject themselves forcibly. Now, one thing I heard from looking at the Freaking site, I guess there at least uh, there's at least an activist now who is organizing. Maybe it was Derek for all I know. But there's an activist who is organizing cleanups at the park because they figure they're using the park a lot. The activists are, so they should start taking responsibility for it as well. And that does strike me as something that not only we would consider to win solution, but the police probably also would like that. Uh, although I guess uh, I guess there is some concern that even this could result in arrest because I guess you know it's they, what they want to do is reseed the grass and stuff like that. They want to plant more grass and stuff like that. And someone has actually been arrested there in the past for trying to plant. So oh yeah, <laughs> my guess <laughs> is, is they'd get away with with, with a little bit of grass planting. But um, I, you know after uh, the nightcaps, which uh, nighttime parties that they've had there in the past, they made sure to uh, clean up. And you know I've been at them myself. We always made sure to clean up after ourselves and to, uh, you know, put trash, eat, trash that we didn't even bring ourselves. Um, yeah, they also the rescued a car there. there once. There was a car that broke down, and they they uh, they, they uh, helped the people move it out of the yeah, way. Yeah, people helping people voluntarily without um, you know state money being involved. Uh, thankfully, but there are reports that the grass is definitely suffering there, and probably large and in a large extent because of the activists. Well, I know it's used uh, also a lot by the youth uh, that are mm -hmm. um, in Keene, so it's it's uh, not just the activists that are there. Yeah. But it's a public park. It should be there to be used, right? Yeah. Well, what do you think should happen next? What do you think activists should do uh, in response to this? Well, I think they should celebrate. I think they should dance and, uh, of course, continue to uh, put pressure uh, onto the police and onto the elected officials that employ the police in that area and uh, at least try to have some semblance of uh, accountability. But I think we just win by continuing to do uh, what we wish to, um, as long as we do so peacefully in the face of uh, such a threat. Well, I guess it's 1.30 on the 10th right now, as of this time, what is Derek's status? He has uh, returned home at this point. Uh, I don't know if he was uh, bailed or released on his own uh, recognizance. Uh, and I'm not even sure as to the charge. So uh, I'm wondering what exactly they could have possibly uh, arrested someone for, for peacefully dancing. But we've seen with the uh, Jefferson One in Washington, D.C., that it really doesn't matter uh, what you're doing. You could be uh, dancing silently to music on your iPod. And, <clears throat> yeah, they uh, body slammed a national radio or national TV host. So what <laughs> else? <laughs> Anything is possible. That's true. All right. Thanks, Neil. Thank you. Uh-oh.